Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about the January update we have received today about Lawstar Europe and NA version. So let's get gearing to it. So first of all, I have we have received the big update which you can read. We're going to read it later. But before we're going to go to it directly, we're just going to take out all the important parts and talk about that quick. So if you just want to see the important parts, that's what we're going to do now. So first of all, I have like cut that out. We have I have like four slides, so don't worry that that's not everything. There's even more. So basically, the game is changing now. So we are gonna have tier three from day one all the way to Punica, which means we're not gonna get the full tier three experience experience to not you know like drown people in content. But we're gonna get up to tier three to, all to the way to Punica. Tier three dungeons to Orwell, Chaos Dungeons stage three. Also, we're getting Vilganos Guardian Raid, and we're going to be able to level all the way up to level 60. Additional tier 3 content will be added post-launch to set pace of progression. So they don't want us to like be drowned in content from day one, but basically like take a relaxed step, like by step by step. But they still want to have us to go to tier 3 just to like, you know what I mean. So Korean voice over option, you can in Steam, you can like download a free DLC, which basically give you the Korean voice if you want that. Certainly early cutscenes are now skippable. And I think that they, they say basically this was a feedback from the community, like a lot of people, they wanted this because they don't want to watch cinematics. So now a lot of more cinematics is skippable now, if you don't want to watch cinematics. Progression speed has been balanced. I saw that in the post that they basically have balanced it out. Some people thought it was too easy so now it's going to be more fair we can probably say name restrictions special characters like yeah you can see on the screen capitalized letters other than the first letter of the name and so that means you cannot call your character mac fly with a big m and speak f no you can only do like capitalized this for the uh, for the first character uh so the first letter and it seems like we're not gonna be allowed to spaces too Names cannot be reused after character deletion requires a manually process from Amazon. They will look into it for the future. So that basically means if you create, you, if you delete your character, you will not be able to use the name again. The name is going to get locked in the database, which is a bit weird because all our MMOs basically just reset the name after you delete the character. But for some reason they don't. So I don't know why. Guild names can be up to 20 characters and character names can be up to 16 characters. Character voices options at creation. So when you create your character, you can now pick between three and four different voices. Thirdly, we have all founder packs content except title and free head start sta um, stack must be one of each type and not duplicate, which basically means you can actually buy the silver, the bronze, the gold, the platinum, you know, you can buy all the different founder packs and all the rewards are going to stack on each other, except the ones where they are basically the same, like the title is the same, like the founder title and the free day head start. But all the other items you're going to get is going to stack on top of each other. So you get like even more items. So if you really want to be hardcore, you can buy all the founder packs and get like a lot of items. But I'm just going to enjoy. I'm just going to have enough with the platinum. Founder packs will go to product inventory, characters inventory, open the skin packs on characters you want to use. And this is very important to know. So when you use both the character, like you, if you buy a platinum, you get both the platinum skin and you get the north skin. It's important you use that skin on the character you want to use it on, like your main character, because you're not going to be able to use it on other characters. So keep in mind when you open the skin that it has to be on your main character because you're not going to be able to use it on others. Founder skins only available to 15 launch classes. So yeah, we, we're not going to be able to save the box and open on and want a new class. Guild leader transfer happens after 10 days of inactivity goes to the beauty of the guild. So basically, if your guild leader has been uh, inactive for 10 days, then the beauty of the guild can basically like um, take over the role. So it, it's a good thing. So you don't like end up with having a guild with no people in, if you know what I mean. Timed events like uh, from Korea and Russia will come to our versions in future. So for example, there's been a lot of events where there was some like very unique skins, stuff like that. And basically they're saying it's going to come to us in time, you know, in time that will be added to our game too. 
game should it? because it, it isn't a game another announcement coming next week with launch day instruction for player and launch server list information about weekly reset times the exact server open and pre-download time and more they will also share business model roadmap and patch notes before launch it's very important to note uh, state that they have also posted this on the forum basically saying tier 3 content and launch is limited that players will only get their feet wet but this decision was made with uh, smilegate um, so that we can introduce abyss raid to the game sooner rather than later um, they are a unique part of lost ark and a big draw for players and also a lot of people have been having the concerns that okay if they're going to release tier 3 that basically means they will also be able to buy gear up to tier 3 so you don't have to like grind but you can just buy all the way up and basically no they say here power pass will not be available at launch so once the game releases you actually have to play to get the best gear so no power pass for you guys yeah but i think it's uh it's a great news um very interesting that we're going to get tier 3 well as some people call it tier 3 light um as the first day which is going to just give us more content so it's not going to be like a new world where you're going to have no content in end game but this game is basically going to have so much end game for you so you, you're not going to get bored you're not going to get bored at all so if you're switching over to the article they released so the article here is basically going to contain all the same things so if you are just watching this video for all like the main topics you're done and you can move on now and thanks for watching but if you want to like see what amazon all actually have like stated in the new update well feel free to keep watching and we will go through the post to get on heroes of acacia as we prepare for launch next month we want to spend our january update sharing some new features important um, important changes we made alongside smilegate rpg and stemming from closed beta player feedback and answering open questions we've seen from player forums special social medias and in our discord server in the coming weeks we'll be sharing more information on launch details monetization and more new futures before launch, we will be sharing a full list of patch notes, but we wanted to share a few planned new features that will be available at launch. So basically, we're getting the Yawn region, which includes new quests, bosses, chaos dungeons, and more. We're going to get the Phyton region, which is also going to introduce new quests, boss, chaos dungeon, and more. We're going to get the Punica region, which is going to give an additional new quest, bosses. Release of Punica means that will be late game. More late game content will be able at launch, including limited tier 3 content. And tier 3 content. Tier 3 gear will be available at launch, as well as a few core tier 3 dungeons to support proper progression, including Ori as well, Abyssal Dungeon, Chaos Dungeon Stage 3, and the Vilganus Guardian Raid. The combat level cap has been increased to level 60. To 60. Additional tier 3 content will be added to the game post launch in order to set the pace for player progression, both in terms of new content and optimal difficulty. They have basically added 173 Steam achievements from day one, but there will be even more in game itself. Yeah, you will find these mirror some of the achievements, here, although there are many more to unlock in the game as well. Character voice selection, so yeah, basically there's a new thing, so you can now choose between the different voices. And then they have done some things based on what people have said about the game. So this is all changed because of the community. Basically, you can get the new free to play, you know, the DLC. Um, so you can like hear Korean voices. Uh, some of the early, ga early game cutscenes are now skippable. And they've been balancing the game. So it's harder to get gear because people thought it was too easy, which I kind of feel is a bit odd. You basically want the game to be harder. Can be dusk. Can probably be discussed. But yeah. Another huge point of the feedback that received during the closed beta test was many players felt like some of the game pacing and gearing was not quite challenging enough. So we worked we've worked to make balance changes to combat this and while it once slowed you you down early on, the end game content will prove to be a bit more challenging for players. And then we just had like the questions like here, what is your, what names can you use for your character, stronghold and guild name? Basically again, as we talked about before, you can you cannot use special characters and you can only use like big letters in the start. 
and again the and again the thing like if you delete your character you cannot use the name asap after so don't you know be careful when deleting a character because you think you can use the name again again guild name up to 20 character up to 16 characters will be able to pick voices that's kind of like the same they just said and here we got the news about the founder packs which is where they say you know players can buy each of the founder packs will with stack meaning that you'll receive all the content purchase in each pack the only thing that will not stack is the three day head start and the founder title yeah and again how you got the founder pack is basically it's going to be delivered to your product inventory and from here you'll be able to obtain the content and blah 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 but be sure to open your northern lawmaker or platinum skin chest with the character you want to use it on And what happens if your guild leader does log in for a week? And here it says if it does log in for 10 days, then it can promote the debut of the guild to the new guild leader. And some of, um, and about the events, like special events with skins and so on, what will <coughs> what will happen with those? Will we get them in Europe and A? Yeah, it will come over time, happening in the future. Will players be able to change the font in game? The in game font type and size cannot be changed, or however, the font size with text chat can be changed. And then they talk about something like if you have a very high resolution screens, there's going to be like a problem where you cannot really see the, the text on the enemies and the damage text, but they've, they're working on a fix. Rather than having a roster based on PvP rankings, can it be character based? I kind of think. I kind of think that people want like a rating based on your character and not your account, it feels like. Um, but they can't ch change this yet, but they can like look into it. And then they're just gonna like state out that it's very exciting. They're gonna soon give us more, like the next week coming up. We're gonna get an article about pre, like when can we download the game? What about the server list? What time is the game going live? What is the roadmap? When are we gonna get the full tier free content? You know, stuff like that. So soon, we're going to get even more details, but we have to be a bit patient. So next week, you can like check mark when you can take vacation, because I'm kind of waiting on to know when will I be able to like take off some days, because I need to know if it's early the 8 or late the 8, do I, because do I need to take off the 8 or not? We don't know. But that was everything. So um, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little go through the January team update. Since I'm very excited for this game, I just kind of wanted to update you on all of this. So thanks for watching. Have a great evening. Have a great morning, wherever you are. And see you in another video. Bye.